Today, as we continue to grieve and mourn, we'll celebrate a beautiful soul and pay tribute to a sister, a wife, a mother, a friend, a leader, and teacher, and now a legend. We saw her every night. It's a big void in our lives. We will never be able to replace her. We don't want to. There are just some things so precious and rare. She worked hard. She cared deeply about the stories that she shared. Is that she was a class act with a capital C. That is for sure. Words from Gail King right there. We are all saying goodbye to a friend tonight. More than 2,000 people gathered to remember Denise DeCenzo at the Connecticut Convention Center this afternoon. An incredibly touching memorial service highlighting the incredible woman Denise was. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is there right now to share more on how Denise is being remembered tonight by so many people all over the state. Hi, Matthew. Yeah, Mark, you know, Denise touched so many during her time here, and today we reconnected with a lot of old former colleagues, but we also connected with loyal viewers who brought and welcomed Denise into their homes for decades. Hallelujah, sung by Javier Colon and the Hall High Coraliers, began the service for Denise, the face of our station and the woman you welcomed into your homes for the last 33 years. The two-hour service was jam-packed with memories and tributes and many familiar faces. Scott and Kara were joined by Gail King, who shared the anchor desk with Denise in the 90s. She was always just so classy and always so uncomplicated and always so... Herself. Bruce and Joe brought up the others from Don Lark to Jerry Brooks. They shared memories of working with Denise. Every story that we saw her do, she needed to tell that story. So I called her a warrior. I called her the Irish Italian Amazon warrior. <laughs> of all the anchors who worked with Denise, it was Dennis who was her best friend, and he provided the eulogy. We were there for each other during the highs and lows. It's been hard not having her because I want to share so much with her. I am so grateful for the time I had with Denise. Denise's life also chronicled on video through the eyes of her family, from childhood to the legend we all knew her to be. Now, Denise will always be with us here at Channel 3, and now you can remember her too. The DeniseFoundation.com is now up and running. That's the latest live here at the Convention Center. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Evidence News.